I am going into work. I'm heading over to JFK and of course I'm running late. So I had to call car service. Oh my God. Story of my life, always running late. I'm literally just gonna make it on time. It is 4.15 and my sign in is at 4.29. And Bart was off today so it was so sad to leave him. Anyways, I am heading to Seattle tonight and I love Seattle. Really? Did you guys see the Starbucks line? It's like insane. I can't even get at Starbucks. <laughs> okay, so really quick, I wanted to show you guys this lipstick because I always get so many questions on what red lipstick is that? What red lipstick is that? I'm making sure we can get it in a good light here. Um, and P.S. I'm in the JFK bathroom. I'm always here. Um, the red lipstick that I love to wear is the Kat Von D and the color is hexagram. I was doing an Instagram live the other day and somebody had asked me about this and I wanted to address it because I get tons of questions on my lipstick. So it's Kat Von D hexagram. Yeah, and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because I've been doing little like random live sessions like, hey, walking around New York and I was with Barty and he was on. It was really cute. Okay, I have to go to my aircraft and go fly now. All right. I just walked into the room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I hate it when they do this in the hotel room. Let me show you guys. I hate this because then you just want to eat all that. It's like staring at you and you're like, oh, well, I haven't had Oreos in like a million years. Why don't I have some Oreos? Oh, look at that big Snicker bar staring at me. <laughs> all right, guys, it is, it's 9.31. It's 12.31 in New York. I just got to Seattle. Uh, great crew, great flight, just real easy peasy, six hour flight. It was a long flight. There must have been like winds or something. Like, why was it six hours? But I got my Starbucks before, so I feel good. <laughs> I feel like I'm going in and out of focus. Is it like my bag behind me, like trying to focus? <laughs> Here's my view. Kind of a cool view if you guys don't see the glare. Yeah. It's 12.30 in New York right now, so honestly, I'm probably gonna watch a little Netflix and go to bed. I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna do much. Um, it's kind of one of those things. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna try to get my nails done because this is embarrassing. Like, oh my God, I like picked it off. So I'm gonna get my nails done and I have to go to Nordstrom's. So now I'm going to bed though. I'm going to wash my face, mellow out, maybe eat that Snicker bar or those Oreos over there that are staring at me. <sighs> One bed. Two beds. It's like the best day ever. There's Starbucks in my room. So I'm like so upset right now. I'm like, just called my mom. I was about to start like hysterically crying, but she didn't answer. <laughs> so, so I'm like, okay, I'm turning on my camera. Like basically I just made my coffee, I woke up, I'm like starting to get ready for the day. I'm so excited to go out and explore in Seattle and I was looking at nail salons, possibly getting my hair done and also gonna go return a dress at Nordstrom's and look for another one for a wedding I have coming up. And I get a call from my bank and they're like, there's some fraudulent charges or there's some you know charges on your card that we think you know maybe you didn't maybe aren't yours, like your transactions. And so they start reading them to me and I'm like, no, no, none of those sound familiar. And she's like, okay, well log on to your bank account and kind of check them out. And I basically logged on and saw that there was like almost a thousand dollars worth of fraudulent charges. One of them was like 490 something dollars 
just somewhere, I don't know, but like, I almost start, I'm like, I feel like crying because I'm like, I feel so violated. Like somebody just got my card information and stole from me and now my card had to be shut down. I'm in Seattle. I mean, thank God I have a backup card, but I'm like, how can people, like, I'm just, I just feel so violated and so upset right now and like, I'm gonna still try to have like a good day, but I have to go downstairs now. I have to print out this form and I have to write down every single charge on my account that is not, was not made by me. And uh, I like wanted to go out, enjoy my day, enjoy Seattle. And I feel just so upset right now. And like, if my mom calls me back, I'm seriously gonna start crying on the phone with her. <laughs> like, you know, when you talk to your mom and you're just like, you hear her voice and you just like want to start crying because you were just like, I just want somebody to listen. But Facts. <laughs> oh my God, who faxes anymore? But I had to literally fax this paper that I filled out to my bank and now I got to call my bank to make sure that they got it. I had no pen. I had to borrow a pen from somebody in the lobby. Like... It's a beautiful day out in Seattle. I'm gonna try to wash away the drama of my card. Sorry about the lighting here. I'm like another colorful sunroof. And I'm gonna head over to Nordstrom's and try to see if I can find a new dress for next weekend's wedding. Oh my gosh, I've got so many weddings this year, so many. <laughs> Nordstrom's! <laughs> Okay, the word sale can put anybody in like the best mood. And I just returned my dress that I bought literally like, I don't know, five months ago to Nordstrom's and they gave me full credit on like a little gift card, not my ATM debit card, obviously. <laughs> but full credit, so excited, and now I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna look for another dress for this wedding that I have this weekend. <laughs> and I told, totally told the cashier like my whole sob story. I was like, oh my God, my card got stolen, blah, blah, blah. I'm so upset. And she's like, I hear so many of those stories. I'm like, okay, I feel better. <laughs> All right, guys, like plethora of dresses here at this Nordstrom's in Seattle. Like, Every time I come over here and lay over, I always come to the Snorstroms because it is so nice. I'm in the dressing room, so I'm being quiet. Okay, I'm gonna try some of these on. I'm not gonna show you guys all of them because they, they look gross. No. <laughs> okay, this is, would not be for the wedding, but isn't this pretty? Guys, this is a Topshop dress. This is at Nordstrom's right now. Look how pretty. I really, really like this. Okay. It's another dress. I don't like this one. I like the top. This is really pretty, but I don't like those. No, that fits way better. It's okay. I don't know. I mean, it could be cute, but. Hmm. Yeah. I love it. Okay, blue dress, very form-fitting. Gonna have to suck that in. What do you guys think of this one? Not gonna lie, this one's like super classy and she unbuckled it back here because this is supposed to button right here and it's kind of got an open back. Makes my butt look big. <laughs> Purple dress. little blue dress look at this one I love this one this is like almost looks like a flapper dress <laughs> Of course, now I'm shoe shopping. 
didn't find any dresses, so shoe shopping. Do I have a particular type of shoe I like? <laughs> These are Topshop at Nordstrom's. I really like them. All right, didn't end up getting any shoes because, <laughs> because they didn't have my size. So I'm actually just gonna wait for the Nordstrom's anniversary sale, which starts in like a week or so. And I did get a dress though. I got that Topshop floral dress. And I saw one of the girls, her nails were so cute at the BP section. I was like, where is that nail salon? So she gave me directions. I'm heading over there as soon as I'm done eating lunch. I was gonna make my way over to, um, ooh, it's bright. I was gonna make my way over to Pike Place Market. But now I'm almost thinking I'm just gonna grab some lunch, go get my nails done, and then work out, and then take a nap before my red eye. Because I don't think I want to, I don't want to get too tired. <laughs> All right guys, got my nails done. Just a light pink here. It's Jellish, Prim, Rose, and Proper is the name. Yeah, the kid's like 14 years old and it's like so cool. <laughs> Lone Wolf eating at the bar <laughs> with myself. I was gonna take some food up to my room, but it's happy hour price right now, so I'm like, yeah, I'll just eat here and get happy hour price, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna eat buffalo wings. Buffalo wings and Caesar salad are my favorite things in the world. I order those at almost every restaurant I go to. My husband's always like, buffalo wings again? I'm like, mm -hmm. or Caesar salad. These are naked buffalo wings. All right guys, just got back into the hotel room. Had my lunch for one. Party of one, please. I'm so used to eating lunch by myself, walking around by myself. I literally do everything by myself and I'm like, I'm so used to it. When you're a flight attendant, you're, you get so independent after a while. You're just like, I could go to movies by myself. I don't need, <laughs> I mean, I love people around me, but it's like, I don't need anybody. So didn't end up going to Pike Place Market and I had posted something on Instagram like, whoever's there, say hi to me. And I'm like, actually, didn't go. Um, went to Nordstrom's, got a few things, uh, ate lunch. It is five, so it's 5.12 now and I have pickup is at 8.30. So I think, I don't know if I have enough time to like take a full on nap, but I'm definitely just gonna watch some Hulu. This is the pink dress I got from Nordstrom's. You can kind of see it a little bit better in this light. It's top shop. All right, guys. You see my little braid here? It's, a, it's not really the greatest, <laughs> but it's a night flight. It's a red eye. So I want to wear a nice, simple braid. Nothing that, like, if I put my head against the jump seat it's not it's not gonna be like a low bun or a ponytail that's gonna be like making my head hurt it's gonna be about a six hour flight from Sacramento wait Seattle <laughs> I'm like Sacramento Woo. from Seattle back to JFK and we'll arrive at JFK at like six or seven in the morning so light 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 makeup and it's gonna be it's gonna be rough it's one of those flights where I just have to work through the night. So hopefully I'll stay busy, we'll have some nice passengers, maybe some will talk to me, we'll have conversation, or they might all just go to sleep and I might just talk to the other flight attendant. We'll see what happens. But I'll say goodnight and goodbye and I'll see you again in New York. Bye guys.